One of the first times Nick and Olivia met, they both seemed to make an impression on one another. Nick, Dave, and I were living together at the time, and Nick declared at the end of that night, guys, I think I'm in love with that girl. <laughs> this sounds sweet in retrospect, of course, but Nick has, has been known to exaggerate. <laughs> so we were excited for him, but we kind of just thought it was weave being weave. <laughs> well, it turns out Olivia felt similarly. Only her take, relayed via Jane, was something along the lines of, I don't know what it is about that guy, but I think I'm into it. <laughs> Jane told Dave that Olivia was interested, so Dave relayed that to Weave, and Weave, everyone to be flustered and excited, couldn't believe it was true. So he responded with, what do you want me to do with that information, Dave? <laughs> I was in the room at the time. I looked at Dave, we looked at Weave, and answered, ask her out, man. <laughs> and ask her out, he did. And thanks to Olivia's gut feeling and Nick's flair for the dramatic, we're here now to celebrate what Nick did with that information. <laughs> For months, I've been trying to think of the best way to tell the story of our relationship during these vows. I quickly realized that may be impossible. <laughs> I simply don't have enough time to recite the novel that has all those wonderful memories. So instead, I began searching for a significant word or phrase, a thesis to explain how I feel. <laughs> of course, our story is spun with many of the classic themes to choose from. Respect and trust, friendship and understanding, joy, happiness, and a lot of the best laughs of my life, often at my expense. <laughs> As I paid close attention to our lives, I realized that every day I kept jotting down a new thing about you that I love. There's just always something new each day that draws a smile over my face and makes me so happy to be your best friend. I'm excited to keep discovering all these things I love about you. And on this journey together, I promise to never leave your side through every peak and valley, to try to make you laugh each day, <laughs> to always be kind and compassionate to each other and all we meet, to often describe what we're doing by singing a little song we just made up, <laughs> to be honest and truthful in our every experience, and to love you forever. When I reflected back on our journey so far, I still wondered why I had such a hard time describing our relationship. What I came to was this. Our bond makes it feel as if I've known you forever, and yet at the same time, like we've only just met. I can't wait to keep meeting you every day of our lives, all while knowing I have my best friend and partner by my side every step of the way. I love you forever, bud. Oh my God, Olivia. I love you. You look so handsome, let me see you. Oh <laughs> you're, my God. You're so beautiful. Jason Isbell is a great singer-songwriter. I love music. I'm gonna use some of his words tonight. He sang a song about his daughter, five years old. And he, he is, we saw him in concert last December, and I did not know this song, I know a lot of his music. Annie and I were there, she looked at me when we, she was done singing this song, and she said, well, there you go. In that song, he says about his daughter, being your daddy is natural. Roses just know how to grow. It's easy to see that you'll get where you're going. The hard part is letting you go. The hard part is letting you go. You've always had my heart, Olivia, you always will. But today, Nick, she's given her heart to you. And you are most deserving of that. Treat it kindly. Hold it dearly. Love it earnestly, because I'm here to tell you, it really is a good and beautiful thing. At the end of that song, 
goes on and talks about projecting what it's like to marry his daughter off. And he says, all I can do is let myself trust that you'll know who'll be strong enough to carry your heart. And I think today, Nick, you're that guy. You are strong enough to carry that heart. Congratulations. Nick, as the cliche goes, you showed up in my life when I least expected. You were this force of levity, laughter, and love that burst into my life. At first, we both know I was timid, maybe a bit bewildered by you. <laughs> you challenged me and pushed me to grow. You taught me to see the positive in every day, to not take life or myself so seriously. But more importantly, you taught me what unconditional love is. Now, five years later, I stand here across from you, no longer bewildered, but in awe. It's impossible for me to put into words the complete and overwhelming embrace you have on my heart. <laughs> As we stand here today, you give me your love selflessly and infinitely. With this love, I vow that every day of my life, I will give back to you the same love you have given me. I vow to put us first, to work and grow in life and love together. I vow to celebrate the joys and find the laughter in every day. I vow to be by your side in the good and bad and in comfort you in times of distress. I vow to honor and respect you for all that you are and all that you will become, taking pride in who we are both together and separate. Above all, I vow to give you my love freely and unconditionally. I pledge this to you from the bottom of my heart for all the days of our lives. Watching Olivia and Nick over the years, I've learned what a balanced, strong, and loving relationship looks like. They've definitely set the bar pretty high for the rest of us. As a couple, they listen to each other, they challenge each other, and most importantly, they protect one another. Beyond that, they are a joy to be around. They are goofballs and bring it out in each other. They're the first to cheer on a Euchre partner or the first to hype up a crowd at a concert. My favorite is seeing them cheer each other on. The amount of times Nick is the first to laugh at a sly remark of Olivia's or the amount of glances I found Olivia steal at Nick, it's countless. Their love and spirit is something I'm so happy to have in my life and I'm excited to celebrate it tonight. Cheers to my best friends, Nick and Olivia. About a year ago, Nick and I converged on Denver. We got into talking about how things were with him and Olivia. And he lit up in the way he usually lights up, talking about her and how much fun they were having living together. He even told me how they were starting to play video games together. <laughs> and not just in the, I'll do this because it makes him happy kind of way, but in a way that she was legitimately getting into it which I knew was the cherry on top of this person who'd already established herself as his dream girl. As he was talking about her, he started laughing. He was so happy. And I remember him saying distinctly, no offense, man, she's my best friend. <laughs> but that's what we should root for for our best friends, to be replaced and watch them realize the happiest versions of themselves. And as I've mentioned, nothing makes me happier than to see Nick happy. So raise a glass to my best friend marrying his best friend. Congratulations, Nick and Olivia. I love you guys. Cheers. Yeah.